Welcome to MacBook Lessons, a lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook. Today I'm sitting in the beautiful city of Austin, Texas, enjoying the sunshine outside, so you'll notice a little background noise. I apologize for that, but we're going to get started today learning about iBooks Author. If you come down to your dock and you choose iBooks Author, you'll see it bounce for a second and then the template choose will open up. When we're using iBooks Author, we actually have two choices. We can choose a book that is in landscape and portrait, meaning we can turn the book on the iPad, or we can choose portrait only. When you choose portrait only, the book will not rotate when you rotate the iPad. So depending on what your project is on, you may want to decide that before you get started. So I'm going to start with Seasonal Dishes, this cookbook down here. And although I'm not making a cookbook, I like the colors and the layout. So you'll notice when you open up the document that you see several things. On the left hand side over here you see your book. You have the book title, you have the intro media, the table of contents, the glossary, and then the actual pages of your book. The book title you can actually change right here in this section or you can come out here and change. This doesn't have to be done at the beginning, it can be done later. However, you're going to see the title over here and will probably feel like you're more in the works if you have your title written. So um, let's go ahead and put our title in here. And I'm going to put something up here. So. So we can get started. Alright, so I don't love the, video, the picture down here, it doesn't go with what I'm doing, but that's okay, we're going to leave that there just for now. And I'm going to show you the intro media. The intro media is actually a movie that you can take and drag onto here that kind of shows what your book is about. I love this idea because it doesn't have to even be a talking movie, it can be a simple video landscape or something along those lines. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Um, you know, my videos that I'm teaching you are not fancy, but they get the job done. And the intro media is really just kind of to set the tone of the book. It's a fun way to get started when you're reading. The next thing is the table of contents. And the table of contents actually has a unique feature that basically it sets itself up. You don't have to do anything to the table of contents. It's going to set itself up and all you have to do is just make your pages down here and your sections and it's going to add them over here and just create that table of contents for you. And I love that feature because it kind of takes the mystery out of making a table of contents. So the next thing over here is the glossary. The glossary is very cool because you can actually create your own. So you add a word and then you can come over here and you can create a definition for the word dollar. Now we all know what a dollar is but um, in, a, in the United States however some people in other countries may not know that's a form of payment so um, a form of money so we could put that definition in here and then anytime you see the word dollar you're going to be able to click on it and it will actually pop up the definition within the book. Now the nice thing about the glossary is it's really something that you can do as you go and I love I love that you can add at any point in time while you're building this book and that glossary is just going to get bigger and bigger as you go along and then anytime again they come across a word they can click on it and it will actually show the definition that you want them to see. So down here we have several things. We have the title of the chapter. We also we have it over here. But we also have it over here. And if we wanted to change that, or even change chapter one, we could change that over here. You have the sections. So within chapter one, you may have a section on 
loading it onto your dock. You may have a section on downloading it from the App Store. Um, there may be multiple sections on getting started with the iBooks Author. So you go ahead, you can add those sections, or you can make it simple and just delete the page and just have that one intro page. And it becomes a very simple section that they just, you know, swipe through the one page and are done. This book can be set up however you would like, and it's really a wonderful opportunity to make it your own. Now, I think that's probably uh, as much as I want to cover in this video so that you uh, know the basics. I haven't jumped into in depth on how to do each of these pages, but I, I do want you just to have the basic understanding of how that toolbar on the left-hand side works. So, I hope that you learned something today, and I can't wait to talk to you again soon.